Hi, I'm Donna from DonnaOnTheBeach.com. This week I wanted to talk to you about the third pillar, joy. Now, let me explain the three pillars. <laughs> First of all, if you haven't seen anything from me before, you may not know that the basis of my coaching program is something I call the three pillars. Number one, self-care, taking care of yourself, does what it says on the tin. Number two, energy, getting your energy right. And number three, joy. And joy is the one I want to talk about this week because I've got across um, quite a few blog posts this week all talking about being led by joy and I've loved them all and I just thought, wow, what a wonderful subject for a video. So I'm going to start with a challenge for you. I normally do a little bit of homework at the end of these videos, but I'm going to start with the challenge and then I'll talk about why. The challenge is this. If your life is not perfect, and whose is, I want you to spend as much time as you can doing things that bring you joy. Now, just a little word on joy. Joy is not just, although this is joy also, but joy is not just, yay, it's amazing, stuff. <laughs> you know, it's not just like your favorite thing, like my favorite thing is gigs. I'm going to a gig next week, I'm so excited, my favorite band, I can't wait and breathe <laughs> and that gives me immense joy immense joy also the great outdoors gives me joy walking with my dog playing with my dog um reading a book i especially at this time of year i love nothing more than to cuddle up under the duvet with a new book i opened a new book last night and <sighs> lovely um what else gives me joy strictly come dancing and <laughs> another one for this time of year gives me joy spending time with friends I'm going to go and see friends this afternoon and uh, I'm really looking forward to that that gives me joy all of the things that give you joy joy is a loud and amazing and yay thing and it's also a quiet and contented and thing joy is the whole range of happiness emotion um, the things that give you deep joy quiet joy lovely just a small things, painted nails give me joy, bracelets give me joy. <laughs> um, what else? I'm looking around my desk here. Post-it notes. <laughs> I love stationery. I can't tell you how much joy that gives me. Sparkly pens give me joy. Um, fun things, yoga. I've just spotted my yoga mat. Yoga gives me joy. All of these things give me joy. And here's why I want to give you this piece of homework. If your life's not perfect, and whose is? If you spend as much time as you possibly can focusing on joy, focusing on the things that give you joy. So even if you work eight hours in a job you hate and you spend two hours a day doing a commute you hate and you spend eight hours asleep, which only leaves you with about two hours of your day, in those two hours, do things that bring you joy. Play music that brings you joy, read books that bring you joy, play, spend time with people who bring you joy. Do whatever you can to bring you joy. And then what happens is joy is kind of expansive. If you let it in, it will expand. <laughs> and just like um, unhappiness is the same thing, if you let unhappiness into your life, it seems to expand and you're... If you're sad at home and you're sad at work and you're sad when you go to sleep and you're sad when you wake up, unhappiness can just expand into you until it takes over your whole life. Joy does the same thing. But usually what we do is we let unhappiness take over unconsciously, but I want you to consciously let joy take over. And it won't do it straight away. You know, <laughs> let's set this up, let's set our expectations right. It's not going to do it straight away. You start bringing five minutes of joy into your life, you're not going to have 24 hours of joy the next day. Although you might, I don't know, it depends how ready for joy you are. Um, <laughs> but what will happen is you'll start to feel better and better and better and better and better. And the joy will expand and you'll find new things. So in the previous example, you have eight hours working in a job you hate. You have two hours commuting, hate your commute. You're asleep for eight hours. And that leaves you, actually leaves you with six hours, not two. But anyway, um, <laughs> a part of that is probably cooking and eating and, and what have you. So let's say you've got two hours that you can do something joyful in. 
So you do that joyful thing in those two hours, whatever it is, something that brings you joy, not just sitting in front of the box, unless it's a program that brings you joy, like Strictly Come Dancing. I watch and I engage and the whole time I am, <gasps> that's amazing. And I, I have my little, I went to see it live and got um, some scorecards. So I score <laughs> and I, I do my little critique to myself. <laughs> I'm a judge at home. Don't pretend you don't do it. Don't look at me like that. Don't pretend you don't do it. So it brings me joy. I can sit in front of other programs, other reality shows, which will remain nameless, and just kind of, it's not bringing me any joy at all. But Strictly does. So if what you're watching brings you joy, huzzah, do it. If what you're watching is just because you can't be bothered to do anything else, find something else to do that brings you joy. There are so many things that you could do that don't take much effort that are, for you, joyous. For me, something that immediately springs to mind is a hot bubble bath. It's no more effort than watching the telly and it's much, 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 much better for me in terms of what joy it gives me. TV, not so much depending on what it is. Big Bang Theory, joyous. <laughs> but anyway, so you spend time in those two hours you've got doing something that brings you joy. And then it starts to expand. Then you start to expand into your cooking time. Hmm, what would bring me joy while I'm cooking? Oh, listening to music and dancing around my kitchen. What would bring me joy while I'm eating? To eat with friends, let me invite someone around for dinner. What would bring me joy on my commute? <laughs> to listen to great music or to find somebody to travel with to enjoy the time with um, what would bring me joy at work and you start to change everything in your life starts to change because you let joy in clients always struggle most <laughs> with the joy aspect because we are so programmed that we should do the sensible thing the right thing the logical thing and this is what we should do and we go to work and we come home and we just collapse in front of the telly because we've got nothing left for anything else and it's all unconsciously done. But joy is so easy to bring into your life. And when you do, when you follow the things that bring you joy, you find a new business. I never meant to make a business out of selling jewellery. It was just something I did because I wanted an ankle chain. I couldn't find the one I wanted, so I decided to make one. <laughs> you know, and it led to a business. Doing what I enjoyed doing, it gave me joy to make, it gives me joy to make jewellery. And now I have all these wonderful creations and I sell them as well. And that happens to a lot of people when they start to follow their joy. Their joy will lead them to some really beautiful things. And in the notes under this video, I will link to one of the posts that inspired me to do this video this week because. It's a perfect example of what joy can do when you let it in. It's really great. So, to recap on your homework, do things with as much time as you have, consciously do things that bring you joy. Plan as much of your day as you can, given that you have to work and commute and look after the kids and do this and do that and you know whatever else you've got to do. Consciously plan with the time that you have to do things that bring you joy. Whether it's, yay, joy, or whether it's, ah, joy. Whether it's reading a book, cuddled up under a blanket, nice and warm, whether it's walking in the park, whether it's uh, going to a gig with a band you love, <laughs> whether it's spending time with friends, whether it's being out and dancing, whether it's being in and dancing around the living room in your slippers. What is more joyful than that, I ask? <laughs> whatever it is. Orient your day around joy. Invite joy into your life. Invite more and more and more. And eventually, the joy will take over. And your whole life will be an absolute joy. Enjoy. <laughs> and I would love to hear how you get on with this tip and what you do to bring more joy into your life. Uh, you can either leave a comment below this video. You can come over to my Facebook page, facebook.com slash Donna on the Beach. You can come to my website, DonnaOnTheBeach.com, or you can find me on Twitter, twitter.com slash DonnaOnTheBeach. I would love to hear from you. Take really good care and enjoy. Bye-bye.